guys, Kate here, hope you're well today. So today's video I'm going to be showing you or introducing you to my current love, this little beauty. This is my Kiki K planner in yellow, medium size. I adore this planner, it's gorgeous. I just love everything about it. I love the style, the leather, the colour. Um, I love this bright colour because um, in the UK it's very dull and boring, uh, dull and dismal. Um, and the, um, the weather's always raining over here it seems at the moment. So when I get my planner out and have a look and have to make an appointment or look at a date or use it or decorate it, it just makes me happy to see this bright, bold, colourful, cute planner. Although I have to say, I went to the bank the other day with Hubby and we were in a fairly serious meeting, you know, um, talking to the bank manager, talking about our finances and looking at mortgages and things like that. And I felt a little bit silly when um, we had to make an appointment to have a further discussions. And I opened up my planner and looked inside and I thought, oh dear, I've got monsters on one side, cute bunnies and dogs the other side and little cute paper clips. And I thought, oh, it's a little bit childish. But you know what, I don't care. I love, I love my planner. I love it being cute and I love all the cute accessories. Yes, I'm going to be 40 next year. Um, do I care that it maybe look a little bit childish? I get a little bit embarrassed sometimes, but I shouldn't because I think if you, you know you should, if you like what you like, does it matter? It's not harming anyone. But I do get a little bit shy about it, but I don't know if the bank manager actually noticed the cute bunnies and monsters. I don't think she did, as it happens. <laughs> Anyhow, I digress. Let's get back to business. So I'm going to be showing you inside this little beauty. It's um, I will leave links for anything of any of the shops that I'm using in the description box below. Um, in the UK, we don't always have access to, to so many good shops, or if we do, we have to pay a lot of postage if it's shops in the US, which I don't really like doing. Um, so, I, but I have discovered quite a few good shops that are reasonable postage and some great accessories and stickers and post-it notes, etc. So I will leave a link for those in the description box below. Um, please leave your comments, and if you've got any tips, advice, hints, um, any comments that you want to you leave, hopefully good ones, then I'd love to hear from you. Um, I've got corresponding blog posts about this um, and showing you inside my planner in my post as well, some more photos. If you want to check that out, I have a blog called Tales of Me and I'll leave a link for that below. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to turn things around and show you inside my little baby. Okay? Okay, so I'll turn things around and we're looking inside my planner now. Um, on the, my left, we've just got we've got the pockets, the usual pockets. I don't tend to use them for any functional purposes. I do use them just to decorate. Some people think that's a waste of time and a waste of space using, don't not using it for functional purpose. Um, some people go real OTT with their decorations. Um, I do a little bit of decorating, and that's the way I like it. I don't really like to stuff these with lots of different things. So, um, this is what suits me. So I've got a couple of little paper clips here. This one's a spiral paper clip from Kiki K, um, and we're very lucky that we've had two new shops open up in Covent Garden. So I was very excited when that happened. Um, I've got a little bow paper clip here, it's like Kate Spade inspired. This is a shop from a shop called Love by Gabby, and I love her shop. She has a fantastic shop. She's in the Netherlands, but it means um, even though she's in the Netherlands, it, her postage is very low. And she has some really great items and has an excellent customer service. So I highly recommend her shop. Um, then I've got some post-it notes here. I just like I do like to laminate cute post-it notes and use them as decoration. Um, and I love these little bunnies and little doggies and things. And this is a magnetic page marker or paper clip from the KK Cute range, and that came as part of the dashboard kit. So I just love that, and it just makes it look cute and pretty. Um, in the pocket, I don't like to stuff out the pockets too much. Oh, it's not supposed to be in there. I don't like to stuff out the pockets too much because I don't like it to get too bulky. Um, in in the pocket, I've just got some stamps just in for emergency. I've got um, these stickers which came as part of the Webster's Color Crush planner. Um, I actually my dad's using <laughs> the file of that planner, but um, I sold the pretty things out of it. I left a lot of stuff for him, bought him some new stuff, but any cute stuff I took out, took out. <laughs> um, now these are, I discovered these on a, a video by Alex Shaw um, and she found these and these are sticky tracing films which are like clear post-it notes and these are excellent, they're really really helpful. So you can use them to, so you can stick these on a Project Live card or a dashboard or anything, it means you don't have to write on the actual dashboard or Project Live card but you can write on the sticky tracing film and it can actually be erased. I do recommend using a permanent marker or permanent sharpie otherwise you're writing it and it will imprint on the page next to it um, but you can erase the permanent marker using a bit of alcohol rub or like hand rub um, and you can erase it 
from there. These I bought from a shop called Cute Paper Story, and they are in China. And even though in China, it's pretty didn't take that long to get to me, and it's a really reasonable price. So I do recommend that shop. Um, these post-it notes, a lot of the stuff I buy is from China and Hong Kong. Um, that's some of the post-it notes. These are actually from a shop called Pop Tart on eBay, and she is based in the UK. And um, for example, these are I think one ninety nine with free postage. She has really good prices. She has loads of gorgeous stuff. This, these post-it notes, um, I got them from China somewhere. Ninety nine p free delivery. Um, and then on, that was on eBay. And these, I don't know where I got these from, but I did get them from China, and they were on eBay. I will leave a link below. But I love these. These are just too cute. Um, I often, if I see something, I saw these on Chloe Murray's one of her posts. And I saw the pink ones and I was like, oh my God, all the pink ones or the yellow ones, I can't remember which colour she had. But I just had to have them, I, I fell in love with them. And I searched and searched and searched until I found them. And I did, I was so excited when I did find them. Um, anyhow, on the right here, my, I've got my uh, this dashboard. This I love this dashboard, it says, I love it. It says, start each day with a grateful heart. Um, it's got cute monsters. I just adore these, it's so sweet. This is from Happy Scrappy, there's more monsters on the back. Um... I love Happy Scrappy stuff and I'm very excited because I've actually subscribed to her monthly subscription box. I'm um, due to get my first one. Hopefully it'll be here by in the next few weeks. Um, I don't think it takes ages to come, but um, apart from that, because obviously she's abroad in China, I think. Yeah. Um, anyhow, I love her stuff and I can't wait to get the box. I'll be so excited to see what's inside. Well, I, see, I know what's inside, but I see them in face to face. Anyway. Um, my, the next, my actual insert is the, my About Me page. I'm using some of the inserts I'm using are from um, one of Mrs. Mrs. Brimble sets. This is the Peking Bunny set. And I love these cute little Peking bunnies. They peek out of the corners and things. Um, uh, she does. It's, it's about seven pounds something for her set, and you just print it off yourself, and you have coloured, the coloured ones, and you have black and white ones, and you can print it off as much many times as you want which I think is great so that's my about, about me page with my name and number and email and stuff I just put my mobile number and email on there I've got space to write your medication any pro medical problems you have and um, I have multiple sclerosis which is fairly important if someone uh, found me unconscious somewhere God forbid and they found but they found my planner or something happened um, and I'm, I'm having an injection once a week called Avnex with that I've got my Nexakin there as well um, there's a random purple dot not sure why that's there I think it must have come off on my sticker sheet. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of bit random bits of paper. Um, random, that's my word for today it seems. Um, just a few bits of scrap paper. This is from a notepad from Ikea for a pound. But just quite a nice little size so you could just stick them in and rip them out so you, don't, you can jot things down here first and then transfer it elsewhere if you need to. Um, I have seven sections and I'm using the um, inserts divi or dividers that came with the planner. But I've just decorated them a little bit just to make them a bit brighter. So I've used the first section, because my first section is the calendar section. And I've got this little cute pocket from the her dashboard kit from Kiki K. And I've just attached it with a bit of washi tape so I can take it off and change it if I want to. And in that pocket I've got a couple of sticker, sticker sets. These are from Daisy Duster Designs. I love her shop. These are really cute mini stickers and there's little circles, or little dots should I say, and little hearts. Um, and these are my injection stickers that I use to put in my planner to mark when I have my injection. Um, they're really cute. She's closed at the moment because I think they're really doing up her site and she's having a bit of a refurb type of thing. Um, but I do recommend her her stickers. Um, so in my calendar section, I've just I've got my month on two pages and my yearly pages. I've actually used two year at glance pages. Um, one is from wonderful.com and I love this bright colourful calendar. And one is from Alexis, which is a bit more sophisticated but still cute um, and that's from Alexis at Strange and Charmed. I couldn't decide which one to use and then I saw um, a video by Planaholics and she was actually using both the insets that I loved um, and she had both of them because again she couldn't decide which one she wanted and what she was doing is circling um, leave days and things in hers and I thought well, that's a great idea. So on the first one I'm circling any leave days for me and the bank holidays and so I know what's going on there and on the uh, Strange and Charmed insert I'm using circling hubbies and all leave days. I've just got a little um, uh, note paper just with some future dates that I've scribbled down which I need to transfer into my and I need to then transfer into my diary. I've got a little project life card which just has um, a colour key code for my planner. Um, I know a lot of these, but it's nice to have it written down. 
I then got this insert. This is from Pembroke Papers on Etsy, and I love the design. It's really clear and well laid out, and it's a year on yearly folding out um, calendar. And on here, I'm just sort of got the dot, sticky dots where I've stuck, stuck some dots for Happy and I's payday. Um, and that's all I'm tracking at the moment. I've written some annual leave days on there as well. Um, I'm not sure what else I might put in there. Um, I'm sure I'll add things to it as the year goes on. I still don't, even though it's, it's, I can't believe it's nearly March because I don't feel organised and don't feel like I've quite got on top of things. But it's absolutely crazy at work at the moment. So I'm kind of caught up with work stuff rather than you know, sort out other things for myself which I suppose is important. Um, anyhow, I've got um, a uh, next insert is from um, wonderful.com um, and she's quite a very popular within the planner community. She has some fantastic inserts, which is, she has all sorts of, um, she has personal A5, all sorts of sizes. And this is one for appointments. And on here, I haven't written all of them in, but I'm going to just keep writing all the different appointments that I've got so I can look at them at glance and see what appointments I've had and what I've got coming up. So I need to update that. Um, and all uh, Wenders um, inserts are free, which amazes me because they're so, so good. I've then got a little um, insert, uh, some paper that I've written right down, like overtime or any time owing. Um, and um, just to keep track of that and whether I've claimed for it or not. Um, and then we're going to my month and two pages. These inserts I'm using are from the Colour Crush, which is Colour Crush Planner. And so I got that planner cheap at the end of last year. So all these were uh, sort of practically out, you know, only a couple of months left. So I, I didn't use them and I thought, well, I hate to waste things. So I decided just to change with the gold pen mark on the 2016, change the dates and use a bit of washi tape to cover up the numbers and then add in my own dates. And I actually really like these inserts because I like the little tab tabs on the side. Um, and on the back of the, the each monthly thing, uh, page, you have a little thing that says this and that. And it's got just 1 to 31. And so you can scribble down quickly. Any little notes you want to make, make or reminders to add into your journal and what have you. Um, this is February's. Um, so I don't, wouldn't, they're only small boxes, so I wouldn't really decorate as much as it looks like, like I have. But obviously I've used the washi tape to cover up the numbers. Um, I use some little stickers in here just to note down things. For example, car, I've got these cute little car stickers that came from um, Daisy Dust Designs. I've got my injection stickers, which I love. It's cute to say I like these injection stickers, but I, I think they're really silly to say that you like these injection stickers, but I think they're really cute. Too. Um, and that's a little sticker I made, which is a little paw print. Um, and that's to document when something to do with dogs. I've got two doggies, so it's to document things with them. I have some stamps that I've used. I've used spin stamps. I've got these little mini stamp set from, uh, what do you call it? Love by Gabby. Um, and they're really quite cute. So I've got the dust bins and I've got payday ones. So I just write different few little dates in in my month and two pages. Um, if you can't, what you can do if you can't fit everything in, in that little box, you can always just put I saw someone just who put initials. I can't remember who it was now. They put initials of what they're and the time of what they're doing something, and then wrote, wrote, wrote sort of wrote it in the note section at the side so they got a bit, had a bit more space. So that's something you can do. Um, but I'd, I'd like it. So I'm decorating a few little stickers. Um, I think I will use these again next year. I will get some for 2017 uh, because I do like the little tabs and they don't, they're quite good quality but don't take up that much. So I'm just keeping six months in at the moment. My next section is my sort of planning section. And so on here, I've just decorated it with some stuff from the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. And it says Dream It, Plan It, Live It. And again, I've just stuck it with a couple of stickers so I can remove that if I want to. But I have noticed that somehow, I don't know how, but that's getting a bit damaged, my dividers. Um, so initially I started with a week on one page and these were all from Wonderful again, um, Wenders blog. And so it's a week on one page with a checklist, but I wanted a bit more space. So I then moved on to the week on two pages, which is from Wonderful, um, Wonderful's blog again. Um, and I do like them because you've got quite a lot of space to write your bits on. Sometimes people don't like the personal planner, size planners, because medium key case like the personal planner. And some people don't always like that because you haven't got enough room, but these do give me plenty of room to write in. Um, I do some decorating, but I'm trying not to get over too tea with decorating because I mustn't spend hours decorating. I must, it's the whole po point of my plan is for a functional planner for, to help me get organised. So I'm trying not to decorate too much. So just a quick bit of decorating, a few stickers and some washi tape. Um, is that this week just gone? 
that was a week before. So, for example, I just put a little post notes to mark something important that I have to deal with in car insurance. I've got these um, cute little um, stickers that I made from, I bought some a little digital image from Etsy, this little Kawai bottle, and I've tracked my water from that. I'm also tracking my vitamins that I'm taking. I take vitamin D, which is very important for your immune system. Um, it's amazing how many people, particularly in the UK, who are deficient of vitamin D. So I really recommend you take that because it's good for your immune system, your joints, your bones, if you have asthma and things like that. I'm also tracking how healthy I've been with my food. This is the week just gone. It's a bit more busy because I've got a little a few little things I've had to add in there. Um, so I, I just ran, do random decoration. So for example, I'm going to take the, well, before I move this out, but I love this bunny page marker. This is from Cloudy Cow. Um, it's very, very cute. Um, I can take that out to get out the way just so I'm looking at things. And this little insert is from Planner Fun. And I quite like it. It's a mini daily planner. And you just, uh, I cut it down because it's actually meant for A5. But it's quite handy just to drop down little to-dos on. Um, this is the week just gone. So I just do random stuff. So why it's like a, more, a monster and an awesome. I don't know. But it just made me feel happy. Um, I love these little post-it notes um, from Post-it. They're quite good. I'm, I use them to... I can keep transferring them and I will probably keep reusing these instead of wanting to do a blog post or something to do with YouTube. Um, although I haven't actually done these, I'm still doing it. Actually, I'm doing it today. Um, it's a cute little post-it note. Um, I've got little stickers, like a little phone to remind myself to ring people. I still haven't done that, so I might do that today. A little one I made there for shopping and a little, one, a little TV. I don't know if you can see them very well. It's reminding me of the programme that we want to watch. Um... And I've been watching a video, I've forgotten her name, but I'll leave a link, link and she does lots of doodling and it's quite easy to copy and she has some, in, some of her doodles on Environment Etsy that shows you how to do them. But she has some really good videos and I was watching them, I'll leave a link, and I like the way she, she plan, doodled my plan that she was doing and she, she was doing, doing a lot of doodles and then I just kind of copied her and saw how she did it because I quite like that and I think it looks quite nice for change not to have stickers but to actually... Do some doodles. So, um, so what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so, uh, what else? But I, I lo love these little doodles. Uh, I think they're very, very cute. Um, I want to practice doing a bit more doodling. There is a blank page. Just where I've got the little sticker there. That's I mean, really nice little inserts. Um, I'm still using those tracking pages from Wonderful because I love these where you've got weekly goals, what you want to track, and then little checklist and then you can colour in the hearts as you do them. I think they're ever so cute and I have been using them because I quite find it's a bit more keeps me, well generally, although I haven't been very good because I think I'm a bit overwhelmed at the moment um, at tracking everything but um, I do like to track and I just find it inspires me to want to think alright quickly I must, must be able to fill in my tracker and I don't like the fact that I have lots of gaps at the moment. Um, yeah it's not doing so well. Um, I love these washi tapes, I've got this from um, hobby craft, these little sloths and rain clouds. Doesn't go with anything, but you know, I just do use whatever random things I like. Um, then this is a divider from um, Happy Scrappy again. So cute. I really love this monster's range. Um, what else have I got? I've got um, I laminated some note paper from Happy Scrappy. Um, that way I can cross off and mark off like exercise and what have you. I was, was doing really well, but this past week I haven't done well at all. So I must get better at doing that. Um, this is just a look from my note, notepad I bought, like a planner pad, and um, you've got the days a week, and I thought that's quite a good place to track or to plan out some meals. But I haven't done that. Um, I printed off this um, insert from, again, I think that's from um, Wonderful, um, and you can actually edit it and print it off then. Um, it's just like a daily routine. Not sure I'm going to use that yet, but I'm got it there to side. My next section is the um, my budget section. It just says collect collect moment, not things. Cute little insert I printed off from Anna Brimble's uh, Anna Brim Mrs Brimble's blog. I like that. Um, I've just got some inserts that I printed off from um, Wonderful, and these are bill pack uh, bill pay checklists. So what I do is I've got my bills and I'll just tick off whether the direct debit's gone out or not so I keep track of things. I've got a couple of online purchase inserts just to keep track of whether they've arrived or not, maybe how many things I'm buying. Try not to, I've already, 
only just been paid and I'd, I don't, I've given myself a little, I, don't, I haven't really given myself a budget, but there's a couple of things that I really wanted to buy. Um, some highlighters and uh, something else, which I can't remember, that I bought. Um, but I mustn't keep buying things. But I'm using this insert from the Peking Bunnies range and I'm going to track my sort of the things that I don't really need but how much I'm spending so I don't can make sure I'm not spending too much on it. I've got um, a budget set that I bought from a shop called Purple something or other. I can't remember what it is but I'll leave a link below. But I really like these inserts because they've got quite a lot of space to write in. They're really well designed and they print out really nicely. Um, you do have to cut them out yourself but um, and they print out on A4 paper. But they're very good and you get a spend tracker, a debt tracker, a savings tracker and a budget budget section which are quite helpful. Um, my next section is just going to be bright, be happy, just stick up, didn't really decorate that much. Um, just a blank piece of paper there. I've got my birthdays and anniversaries, this is sort of the personal section. Um, skip past that, passwords. I've got a little um, section for things about my boys. My boys are my two dogs, Spike and Alfie. Alfie's a Springer Spaniel and Spikey's. A cross of Springer is a Sprolly, he's a Springer Spaniel cross with a uh, Springer, Springer Spaniel cross with a Collie. And I love this paper, I've got this perfect to use for the dogs. It says, Woof, a heartbeat at your feet. This paper I ordered from um, Crafty Alley Cat, and her she got some great things in her site from Etsy. And all her paper is really good quality, and I buy her the plain white paper to print out any inserts on because you can print out on personal inserts on personal size paper. Um, and it's just really, really good quality and quite high GSM. I don't know what, that, in English it's GSM and they're above 100 GSM quality of our paper, but it's very, very good. Um, I made myself a little insert with my card details. That's kind of, I should take that really because that's irrelevant because my poor little card did die and I haven't got that anymore at the moment. I'm not getting a new car for until April, hopefully. And I've got a little insert there just with some stuff about hubby, some shirts that he likes. I just a little list of um, exercises that I want to do, or things to do at home. Um, this a little insert for freebie from Mrs Brimble's blog. And it's event planning, and I thought I'd use that to plan out Hubby's birthday, which I really should do because he's 40 in May. I can't believe I have a 40 year old husband. Gosh. Um, I've got a couple of blog, um, that list of blog post ideas and some blog um, inserts. I'm not really using this as a blog planner. I need to transfer them actually because I'm going to use my other file of facts, my Malden, as a blog planner and for my sort of these sort of things. Um, but I will transfer that and set it up. Next section is just a goals and inspiration that just says make it happen. And I've got a little list of my goals for 2016 that I've printed off. And that's the paper. You can see it's really good quality paper from um, Crafty Alley. A little insert from um, Alexis of Strange and Charmed, it says 2016, it's really lovely designed and you've got some little goals there you might want to put in yourself. I'm actually re-evaluating my goals because I've been reading lots of self-development books. I'm on a self-development kick and I'm trying to improve myself and just um, be the best person I can be really and that sounds a little bit corny but um, it's very, I find a lot of these books really quite helpful and interesting to read. Um, I've been reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert which I love and I'm now reading Eat, Pray and Love by her. Um, this is quite inspirational books. I'm reading one about goals. Goals with soul. <laughs> that's what she says. Um, that's Danielle Laporte, and she has a book called um, Design Maps. And she says she often she's sort of saying that when we look at our goals, they're often like a to do list. And she's looking at how we want to feel by achieving our goals, and and looking at those feelings and using those to to sort of plan out our future and our goals. So um, we'll we'll reevaluate that when I finish that book. Another insert from Straight Lexus and Strange and Charmed. You've got the Resolution Day, which is just a cute little fun insert. Um, I've been doing the Miracle Morning, off and on, um, by Hal Elrod, and that's my affirmations that I printed out and put in there. And I also printed out some bedtime affirmations from his blog. I have enjoyed doing the Miracle Morning, and it does keep me more organised. Um, I did, wasn't feeling too well this week, so I think that's why I've sort of got a bit, a bit, I'm a bit overwhelmed and unwell. Um, but I need to get back on track, so I do feel better when I'm a bit more organised and do this. I've got some journaling pages, which I got from the Colour Crush planner, and I have just was using them as part of my Miracle Morning, but I'm using actually another journal to write those in. A little insert from Brattana Brimble's blog, or in a brim, should I say. Um, these 
quotes I printed off from a blog, um, it's an occupational mum. She has a couple of YouTube videos as well. And she had this little insert that she made up that you could print off free, which I quite like these um, quotes. Um, I've got some decorative paper that I printed, um, got from my Colour Crush planner. And on it I've got some of these sticky tracing notes and written some quotes. But I need to update that because I've got some really good quotes in the books I'm reading which I want to put in there rather than what I've got in there at the moment. Next section is my list section. Um, so it is what it says. <laughs> it's lots of lists and I've got one for things to watch, um, things to read, passwords. These, this idea I got from uh, one of um, Anna Brim's, um, Mrs Brimble's her, one of her videos on organising her fire facts. And what she was doing, she had the rooms that she had things, jobs to do or were doing up. And so she'd write the room and what needs to be doing in that room. And in the back, writing um, what she needs to buy from it. So I do need to do this because we might be thinking about moving house in the next year. So we need to do some touching up and tarting up of the home. So I will need to be filling that in. I've got some spare uh, paper, sort of to-do list I printed off from my Peking Bunny set. This I need to fill in still. This is a little, I put some stickers on this yellow paper. Um, and I need to I want to write on here my makeup and the colours I'm using so I don't forget or use up or sometimes you get buy something and the name rubs off and you don't know what colour you're using so I need to do that and so lots of different lists I won't go to all my lists but I'll just show that bit of paper actually um, this is came with that doggy paper this one with cats on and it says you are the cat whisk cat's whiskers and that's again from Crafty Alley Cat um, some more, more lists and the last section is just like a miscellaneous section really um, I might find a better use for that last section, but um, I, in here I've got a spare page mark today marker. There's some stickers that I haven't used, and I was going to use and didn't, so I stuck it on there so I can use it at a later date. Um, some spare oh, ones of these mini daily planner inserts, um, and just, just some bits of spare paper to use. Um, then I've got this lovely little um, zip pocket. <clears throat> excuse me and that's from the dashboard kit I love it because it's got these little green squares on it and in there I've just got some stick spare stickers that I might use day to day and some paper clips so I've got my little stick glue dots so I was just just the ones I made let's get someone nice one to show you oh. I've made some little doggy ones can you see that I made some little TV ones so and I did have some of my water bottle but I've used them all up by the looks of it. Then I've got um let's close up a little dashboard um and I put that there really that's from the dashboard kit I don't really need it but supposedly if you put it in there it would stop pages curling around which I'll show you in a minute. It doesn't really work so I'll probably take that out so it doesn't bulk things out too much. I've got some more stickers these are from the paper chase it's the planning ones in a clear pocket and I haven't got anything in the back it was a notepad that came with it, but I don't really want to bulk out things, so I haven't got notepad. I love this chevron print inside the planner, this fabric. I just it's so cute. cute. Um, so if you turn it around there, you can. Oh, geez, I moved the table. Sorry. Um, can you see how it's curling around there? Um, having something there is supposed to help it not do it, but it still does it. Although it's not doing too much at the moment. This is a pen that I got from the Kiki K that I'm using in my planner a lot of the time. This is a biro. Um, I don't really like gel pens, I prefer biros, that works really nicely. So that is inside my lovely little planner. I really love this Kiki K, I highly recommend this planner, it's so so cute. Um, as I say, I'll leave all the links below for my blog posts and for all the shops that I use in here. I hope you enjoyed it, if you like this video give us a thumbs up, if you've got any questions, queries, comments, please leave all in the comments field below. And I will be back with another video showing you some of the accessories that I'm using um, in, in, alongside sort of the, uh, the stationery sets and stuff that I'm using with my planner. I'll do another video about that as well. So, all right, take care. See you later.